Since the inception of the radon mitigation systems in the mid 80s, the, the um, guidelines have been contained in what's known as the RMS, the Radiation Mitigation Standard Documents, published by EPA. Those documents are now superseded by ASTM 21, and a copy of those, or, or that section, is available from EPA. Now, one of the things they were concerned about in, in the early days was what's called blowback or reentrainment, in which the exhausted gas would blow back into the house. And uh, instead of a house having a lower radon level, it would actually spike the level. And this is a situation where the exhaust, as you can see, right close to the window, and you can hear the exhaust, and you can see. Now the program as it was set up is one of the best expenditures of public money that I've seen. It's a clever system, it works virtually every time, and we've worked hard to keep the price reasonable and, uh, and, and not to make the house look goofy with these systems. So here's an opportunity, this house is deserted, for me to check the reentrainment or the blowback situation. And the way I did it was just put a 90 degree fitting on top of that pipe and directed the blow, directed the exhaust directly into this bedroom. So, I mean, you're getting the full blast of what's coming out of the basement. Right into this bedroom. Then I closed the door to this bedroom and set a radon test in the bedroom while this was going on. Now, the original reading in this house was 7.4 picocuries per liter in the lowest livable area of the house. When the mitigation system was put in, the reading down in the basement dropped to 2.4. And that's where you normally put the test, is in the lowest livable area. That's in the basement. This is the second floor, so there is one entire floor between the exhaust and the system. Now, with this blowback coming directly into this room. The radon levels in this room were below two picocuries per liter. And that might seem a bit strange until a couple facts are known. One, if the initial reading in the basement was 7.4, the reading up in the bedroom was probably between one and two, just as a guess. The highest levels are almost always found in the lowest levels of the house. Second thing is, even though you're getting the full blast of that exhaust in here, you're getting more than that. As that air comes into the window, it's also bringing fresh outside air in, so it's actually diluted. And if you can, and as an analogy, if the outside was full of smoke and the inside was not, you can imagine as that blowback came in here, it would pull with it a whole bunch of smoke. So you're not getting the full blast of of what's coming out of that exit point there. So reentrainment or blowback is not the issue that we originally thought in most cases when the program was set up but it's still something we keep in mind. And in this case, this exhaust is gonna be moved anyway. Uh, it was put there, I understand, because of health reasons getting into that little attic below there. But in any event, that's the story. Um, if, you, if you hear 
about blowback or reentrainment of radon gas into the house. And that's it. And I, I have not seen or heard of any other experiment like this that shows uh, the results of this.